I don't have a joke for this. So I was browsing YouTube, as I'm known to do from time to time, and I got recommended one of these 8D audio videos. If you don't know, 8D audio is audio that's designed to sound like it's spinning around your head. This can even be taken a step further with 9D audio, or as this cringy TikToker pretends to be astonished by, 1000D audio. I swear to god I've seen better acting in porn. Now you may be thinking to yourself, audio that spins around your head that just kind of sounds like some cheap gimmick that allows people to upload popular songs with a twinge of originality. That way they can get massive amounts of views based almost entirely off the popularity of the song. And you'd be right. That being said, however... Now I myself am a huge audiophile, in fact, whenever I want to listen to music I simply put two $10,000 speakers on the ground and lay in between them. This is also the best way to enjoy ASMR. Oh, fuck! So a thought crossed my mind. Is 8D audio really the best way to enjoy music? Now when it comes to 8D audio, the problem with standard headphones or even my ingenious floor speaker solution is that there are only two audio sources. Now luckily, even though we only have two ears, our ears do process audio as 3D, leaving you with one more D than you have ears. This works great when audio is moving side to side, but when it tries to move forward and backward, there's a bit of a problem. Since headphones put the audio source directly beside your ear, audio that sounds like it should be in front of you or behind you sounds exactly the same. Which means that the only way to truly enjoy 8D audio is to actually have an audio source spinning around your head. And so I've decided that I will build a contraption to actually do this so that you don't have to waste your fucking time. I mean, try it yourself. Really all we need is something that spins, so I decided to tie my speaker to the ceiling fan. That turned out to be a bad idea. So, with a quick prayer to Michael Reeves, I dug out my old LEGO Robotics kit, downloaded the first anime intro I found, and got ready for a... BUILD MONTAGE! You left me falling and landing inside Okay, that build montage got a little off track, so let me update you on the robot. Uh, it tears itself apart every time I turn it on. Fuck! The problem is with the weight, because this thing has to hold a speaker, uh, plus a counterweight. Speaking of counterweights, I needed something that weighed about as much as this speaker. So I'm going to be using an identical speaker. This one will not be playing music, it is purely for weight, and... I stole it from my mom. <laughs> Unless you're getting creative with it, the only thing that this is supported by is the friction between the gear and the axle. So I came up with this, the simple integrated weight management parcel. 
Uh, yes, I stole that joke, and B, this thing has been enough of a pain in my ass that it genuinely deserves its own name. With a simple integrated weight management parcel, all the motor is doing is spinning this little doohickey. The doohickey itself is supported by these two arms. Attach whatever you want to the doohickey and BAM! Oh, that shit's not going anywhere. Now the other problem is that the doohickey is getting caught on the arms of the simple integrated weight management parcel. But after three redesigns, I have a solution. I simply cut out a little bit of plastic from this milk jug and uh, hopefully that keeps it from catching. You know what they say, if it can't be solved with a milk jug, it's not worth solving. I don't think anyone has ever said that, what the fuck? I'm treating this as a momentous occasion because if it doesn't work, I am quitting this project. But at least it's on camera so you can cry along with me. Let's go. Build a simp. I had to make that joke at least once. All we need to do is rebuild and reattach the arm that holds the speaker to the simp and pray to God that it works. Maybe I'll do one of those quirky snap transitions. Ready? Three, two. Uh, I meant to just teleport upstairs, but I ended up teleporting three days into the future where the robot has fallen apart four more times. I lost the hoodie and I want to die. Here it is. Here's the robot. It looks like shit. It barely fucking works. It could fall apart at any moment. What's a YouTube robot without a little tape on it? Am I right? Fuck, I hate this project. Also, sorry if I sound a little stuffy. Uh, over the past couple days, I got a little sick. It's not the C word. Cook. Wrong C word. Uh, side note, you may notice a bunch of pink shit on my wall. Um, you see, as a faceless YouTuber, I take the utmost precaution when it comes to protecting my identity. Uh, which is why I decided to film in front of a wall with a bunch of certificates and badges and shit with my real name on it, including an actual copy of my ID from when I was bald. As far as actually using this thing goes, uh, I'm just gonna fucking hook it onto my desk and tape it down. I have run out of fucks to give. I'll also have this audio recorder with me. Uh, it has two microphones on it, so hopefully you'll be able to hear what I hear. This is the kind of shit they record ASMR with. That probably sounded so gross, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Well, here we are. The top of the mountain. Lord knows it wasn't easy, but the view looks pretty good from up here. There were trials, there were tribulations, but the thirst for knowledge always prevails. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Mahatma Gandhi. Finally, we can answer the question, is 8D audio the best way to listen to music? Sounds like shit. Well, that's the end of the video. Uh, wait, I, I, I don't, don't click off yet. I saw that. Get back here, bitch. <laughs> I hope you liked it. Uh, I put a ton of time into it. And on that last shot, uh, I actually got injured. The power brick was not supposed to land on my face. Sounds like shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, is it worth a sub? At least a like. Come on. This is a lot of fun to do, so I genuinely hope you liked it. If you want to support me, best way to do that, besides just liking, subscribing, sharing the video. Uh, I know y'all a bunch of gamers. I know you got discords. Link the shit. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. That's all I got. Bye. Let's go. Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away. Better know that I don't and I won't ever stop. Cause you know I gotta win every day, day. Go. See the really, really wanna pop me. Go. Just know that you will never pop me. Go. And I know that I gotta be a little cocky. Go. You ain't never gonna stop me. Every time I come a nigga gotta set it, then I gotta go and then I gotta get it, then I gotta blow it, and I gotta shut it. Any little thing a nigga think that he be doing, cause it doesn't matter, cause I'm gonna die.